and we are back my friends this is episode 7 of the Total War Saga uh, Thrones of Britannia with Kirk Rain. in the last episode we defended the siege against Edinburgh we ran out of money we lost a province which is worth a lot of money to rebels we eliminated some rebels at the great expense of the army as I forgot to mute my phone um, and that army is not regenerating right now um, we also have another province that we need to repair, uh, Brecon, uh, Brecon rather, I don't know why I called it Brecon. Um, we've got provinces threatening to rebel, um, which is all in major issues. Um, and hopefully we can start taking provinces down here as well. But again, we're not getting uh, replenishment which is a big issue because it means that we're going to struggle against these rebels uh, it means we'll struggle against this garrison and we'll have to basically take this province next uh, in the south which is a problem so you know that's a problem uh, but we're going to end the turn start where we start every episode ending turns and continuing on and seeing what the North Leod and our other enemies have in store for us because that's always ideal. It uh, seems like every faction on the map wants to declare war on us right now. Um, and we're looking like we're going to lose another province there as well. Um, so we're going to try and get them that army that's there back up into there. Um, the issue we've got is we've got no army replenishment, we've got no money and we've got no food. So I'm going to have to basically get rid of some units I think somewhere it's probably going to have to be the one in the south just to try and get some money back up um, they're going to obviously rebuild because they took a demolition in Edinburgh if we are honest um, and hopefully that will get us making profit again hopefully that will bring back the army replenishment um, because that's not ideal either um, trying to think of the best way to work things out in all honesty looks like our uh, allies are having issues uh, so we've got a food issue uh, we're taking attrition um, that's not good so that upgrades our spearmen that unlocks wolfhounds and we unlocked a royal horseman missile units so let's go for that because that's quite a good one for us so if we go south to this army here and we go right what are you costing 50 100 so you cost 100 each right so take two of them cost 35 you cost 25 35 you cost 88 you cost 100 but you're not that you're not that great in comparison to them so take them and we will disband selected units still not enough um, okay we're going to disband you as well and then we should now be making money again so if we come round to here uh, diplomacy I want to go to Strackloot and I want to now go okay that's still on selling for them then but we're improving but the issue we've got is we're at war with somebody who they like that also puts our food up as well um, they need 90 food and we're only producing 40 down here that's the big issue there uh, this army needs 70 food we're producing 70 here and 35 here so again if we go to here we might actually start seeing yes we do indeed see replenishment in this area so hopefully we can get this army going we are now making money again uh, so we're producing enough food there um, you're going to cost 120, we can't afford to build, so that doesn't need repaired. 
and Edinburgh I need repaired, but I think this costs 32 each. Uh, no, just 32, so that's fine. Hopefully we can get that. Um, unhappiness, Border Wars is minus 52. Um, technology is zero. War favor equally billion is six. So border wars is our big issue with unhappiness. Uh, they're not happy with being at war on our borders. Uh, who's this nation that we went and ended up at war in, in the last episode? So treaties. Um, these guys. So you have four regions, and they're here. So, why did you declare war on me all of a sudden? Um, it just seems so random of you to do that. You only have one unit as well. Hmm. You really need to get this back off the rebels, but it's an issue. You're minus 10. Uh, occupation, food, faction. Events and buildings all adding up to that. Uh, right, we'll end turn again. I'm really not sure how we're going to recover this. I feel like we are recovering it, but financially we're in such dire straits that it's a problem. Um, we're going to lose Aberdon as well. Um, I mean, if they come south, we're in pretty good shape because we've got a garrison there and an army that is now recovering in this area. So, hopefully they come south instead of going for a run-in and then we can just swoop back and get all these areas nice and quickly. Um, that'd be ideal. Looks like they just lacked that rebel area, though. Um, and it looks like that army is coming south as well. And they're taking that area. That's interesting. And then it's only going up to a 10 stack army. Um, so they're always the plan on going for Edinburgh next as well. Um, just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, hmm. I mean, Stratcloot had annoyed us for this war. We, we didn't start it. So. I'm struggling to see how that was our fault. Um, so we're bankrupt again. Not sure why we're so bankrupt when we're making 200 a turn. Um, now we don't suffer from snow attrition. So again if we just march nicely to here. Um, just enough so that you know we're not trespassing in this area. Uh, we'll pop a corridor in Sirin, Low Public Order and Lauden, Risk of Rebellion and Military Forces taking attrition, um, hmm. try to work out the best way to defend I guess it's just going to be the end turn and hope they attack us border wars are really causing us issues uh, in all honesty so what we kind of need to do is start taking out areas because it's the border wars that are really really hurting us in terms of the unhappiness we can get dark or we can go for Carliol, I think it's called they are come, indeed coming south, so that's handy. That's where we've got the best chance of defending against that army. Um, waiting on them, attacking us. And then we can defend against them with the army and the garrison. It's a tier 2 garrison as well. So that should hopefully give us a chance against even an 11 stack army. I've got hope that that will work. That army is rushing south because it knows that that's where we're doing our best. Um, okay, Stratcloot might not be at, so annoyed at now that we're at war with them because that actually helps us out because they've decided to declare war on Stratcloot now. 
thank you for them for uh, not backing me up with that defensive alliance. Um, hopefully now that might actually allow us to make a military alliance with them as well. Um, we've not actually declared war on anyone in this save, and we're at war with so many different nations, so... Uh, minus two loyalty. Don't want minus loyalty. Um, so we're still taking attrition. We've got this. So you are a governor. So go for a scribe there. In fact, no. Uh, undo that. Uh, loyalty. Campaign movement. I'm not going to need that. Raider income. Food production. That's handy. Fourth dad. You're a governor then, so that's fine, I guess. Uh, we're losing money again though. Because we always lost Aberdon. And we're gonna try and get to Dakar. Uh, before we take this, because that'll hopefully weaken that. Um they're attacking that settlement, those rebels are fully stacked. And that army is running away. So, again, we're just going to end turn. We're going to try and hold out against these rebels. Hopefully, they attack us this turn and we get a battle. At Dun Foyder. Uh, which would be quite nice to have. Is another battle in this episode. Uh, and one that's not Edinburgh. But they've decided against attacking, that's fine. Maybe just trying to get their forces up just a little bit more. Which, of course, is fine as well. So... The North Leo would let's see what they're going to do. Nope. I kind of think that that might have been a good option to reject. But at the same time, I think it's the right decision not to reject. Um this army is causing us a lot of problems and we've got nothing to defend against it just now either until they go to scone it, scone um, them coming to war with us really really hurt us quite a bit in all honesty um, because we didn't plan for that, we thought we were pretty safe from that angle um, I felt they were our allies in fact I'm pretty sure they were at one point but they've decided they don't like us anymore so Leave them to it. And we've lost another city to rebels. Great. Uh, border wars really costing us issues. So, down here. Maybe should have accepted that, but that cost us this here. Uh, you're taking attrition, you're actually suffering. So, going to occupy they need 90 food per turn this area is producing this area is producing 40 uh, hurt you have low supplies that's fine um, get free spearmen one levy, one sword band, one javelin, and one archers for this being a two. Does that compare to in this one? Three spearmen, one levy, one archers, one javelin. So we get the swordman, basically. And, yeah, that's it. It's really not that great an expense there, is it? Um. So, what's the plan then? So we're taking this settlement down here. But this army is really suffering with attrition, so. You cost 50, you cost 100. 35, 35. Right, so we could. I don't want to get rid of any of them, though. And we can't take that province anymore because our army is too weak, so we need to get this army somewhere where it's going to be fine. Um, I guess we're just going to have to go to the sea, basically, and try and get north as quickly as we can. 
to an area that can sustain that army because otherwise it's going to just die and wither uh, through starvation um, which is unfortunate ok so here we go this should be a fairly even battle according to the thing maybe slightly favouring them but I don't know what this map's going to look like I don't know where they're going to attack from anything like that but we've got our battle for this episode at Dune Foyther um, a lot's happened in four years if we can win this battle we can go and get all these provinces back that are to the north uh, of this area and get this area completely under our control again uh, and get the food supply while replenishing this army uh, which would be very very helpful indeed um, maybe I should have just accepted that peace treaty with an awfully old to be honest might have been the smart play so let's start battle uh, let's have a look at our city so where's our victory point our victory points all the way up here um, okay it's a fairly good victory point actually uh, they're coming in down here I think so they're here um, in fact I actually really like this victory point it's going to be very difficult for them to get in I mean they're going to come in this way aren't they um, I think so if we go with these archers on this wall here no um, if we put them up here what's our range not quite good enough put them here what's our range maybe just about good enough to do some damage down there I think that's a good place to put them now if we put our skirmishers here and then a second set of in fact we actually got crossbowmen and archers there as well so where's that wall so wall here where's your range going to be not quite so great uh, not quite so great either so hmm I guess if you come in here there's going to be a good place for you Use our stock across here. So, if I go back to these archers and I put these archers in next to them, that's going to give us a chance. I've got another barricade remaining actually. So, um, can I put another barricade anywhere that's going to be useful against this entry point? Honestly, I don't think so here maybe but again it's going to be facing the wrong way isn't it mm. and again that's going to be facing the wrong way because that faces out this way and um, which are not coming so I guess just put mother javelin in here you know just in case and then what the plan would be then is to then have spearmen's here, 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 okay, swordmen here, and axemen here. Okay, horses and general gonna put all the way out the way here because hopefully that will stop them from actually attacking them and we'll group them uh, use are still there so you can come up here as well is there anything else down here so I think I've moved everything now um, only issue is, is they're attacking an area that has very to no towers um, hmm. actually 
we get rid of this barricade because that's not going to not affect them too much and we put our javelin men uh, with less here and then our javelin with more in here Uh, hopefully that's going to help start battle so if we start the battle now uh, these archers being here as well actually have quite a decent advantage as well because we can then come across here and this should hopefully in theory be an absolute death trap for these guys that come through this area um, and hopefully they're going to be distracted enough with these guys so hopefully we can do a number on them here and win this battle with cleverness now what's this point here capture point okay Um, and our horsemen here are available on the flank hopefully they don't get seen I mean the only issue that I see is is there another capture point here maybe nope um, I mean this tower should be pretty good as well for going down there so hopefully there's n enough defense in place that's good. Uh, what enemy fire? Who's under the enemy fire? Their fire ring. Hmm. Okay, it's looking okay so far. Um. They're obviously firing when they want. And once they get out of this reach that they can do, which isn't actually that great. Uh, so once they get to about here, we can move them over here and really mess them up in here, hopefully, with the arrows. These are pretty much a uh, giveaway these a uh, levy skirmishers and um, but if they can just mess them up just a touch but again that keeps them in if they don't go towards these guys to avoid them it forces them into here which keeps them in this the range of these archers and um, which is also fairly helpful and um, keep going keep coming boys I mean, this was really powerful on Attila. I'm not sure how powerful it is here. I mean, it's still looking pretty powerful. We're absolutely shredding them up. Um, maybe not as powerful as what it was on Attila, though. Um, as they seem to be doing fairly well in this spot here um, where there's an Attila that whole army would be dead now I mean we've done enough that they're probably going to flee and the other thing is it's done is it stopped them really sticking there Um, and now that they've lost that, um, we'll move these two archers to here. Um, but it's kept them in that tower area longer than what it could have been, which is good news for us, really. 
Um, we still got our archers here. Where are you? And they're across there, so that's fine. So now, hopefully, we can keep them in this area. I mean, they're doing a quite a decent job against these Norse warriors, actually. So we've actually taken off quite a bit of number just without even really having to do much here. That'll be the skirmishers gone. But they were always men to the slaughter, if you like. All I want them to do is have a range down here, so... Can just get them into this bit here. And then, hopefully... My plan works, that should then mean that the guys that are down here are just lambs to the slaughter. Obviously this tower should be messing them up a little bit as well. Actually, right now they are just sitting there fairly well. Why are you just moving? Just go there. Uh, that's not worked. I've not fed them into this area well enough. Because, right, do you know what? Just go here. Because you're not going to the bit that I want you to. Why are they... taking toggle skirmish mode off because that's what the issue is is they're they're thinking they're getting attacked I think Only problem is, is it looks like their cavalry is coming around for their archers, um, and our archers were not meant to be part of the lambs to the slaughter. But if we can actually spike some of these generals' unit off, we might be able to even win this battle even easier. And it looks like that's exactly what we've done: is we've weakened it quite considerably just with our archers. So that's ideal. Um, what's the horses doing? Nothing actually. I um, kind of want to see what unit this is. Warband. That's fine. And then that's horses. So. Kind of want to see what they're going to do here. Our archers have basically retreated for no real reason here. Uh, that's frustrating.
Ah, they've spotted our cavalry though. That's now a problem. Um. What are you doing? I mean, this has worked out okay that we've actually taken out a unit by unit kind of thing. <clears throat> uh, not quite so okay if they go around this way though. Okay, so briefly just had to pause the recording. My lad who was sleeping has basically came out of his bed. Um, so I had to deal with that, um, which I've now done. Um, what are they coming? Health guard, all oh, coming range of these guys, please. Somehow ended up with Levy all the way down here as well, which really isn't ideal. Uh, what are you? Your war band. Okay, you go for the war band. Um, can I get you into these war band? That general should now be in reach of these. And the general is now dead. Just you hold your line. You hold your line. You hold your line. That's all I want you to do. But I think we're doing another successful defence here. Why are you down there? Really makes no sense to me why they're down there. But okay. They got any army left? No, they don't. What a result, boys! What a result! They've got 173 remaining. Absolutely annihilated. Getting that general was so so important there. Uh, so happy with that. That was great. Um, do apologise for having to pause mid episode or mid battle rather. But I hope you understand that family obviously comes first. Uh, so when he came through, was right, got to deal with that. Um, but that's a great win nonetheless. Uh, we'll take on Warriors. And is that another army coming up from the north? That is. That kind of goes against the plan, doesn't it? Um. <clears throat> Kind of means we're going to actually be stuck. We maybe get to Aberdon, get that back, and then run back down just to get the extra cash for a few turns before they get there. But we'll take out that army, basically, is what the plan's going to have to be. Uh, we will lose Sconin. <sighs> we're just fighting on so many fronts that we cannot sustain. 
this length so we may, really maybe should have taken that piece off and from the north of the old problem we've got is we're so far south with them that getting that army back up and rebuilding it would have been a big big problem uh, they're taking running as well oh and we went from being profitable making food again to now not uh, this area makes zero food um, this garrison I'm guessing is going to be quite strong but it's not even the right region so you make 40 um, what's your major city then? North Umbray. Right, so it's somewhere else then. Uh, English rebels and North Umbray. So I'm guessing is that English rebels? Yes, it is. Let's get you back here then. Um. Right, so I'm so confused as to where we need to go. So we're not researching any technologies. Have we got anything civic that we can do? So we really need something civic. Uh, nope. Mm. Right, well, if we go up north, take you out, we get them. And again, we'll move and get them. Um, and again, we'll just attack in a protective stance. Just quickly take them over, kill them off. Because that's going to help us a lot. <clears throat> And we'll end that turn here um, with us researching some technology. So plus thirty percent cavalry unit charges, upkeep cost. We don't want that just now. Um, that does upgrade units. That gives us wool pounds, which is going to be no good to anyone. Uh, right now, can't recruit well in foreign territory. That's fine. Um, you are a commander. But again, it's not doing that, so. Yeah, it's just not giving us that command that we want. So, it's minus 5%. Recruitment costs. Um, I guess we we'll go for the quartermaster again and get the campaign movement range. Because it's not giving us the extra star that we want. Um, so, I'm going to get them hopefully back here. And this is 98. What can we do food wise to upgrade here? If we get us to 22, that would. That's cloth. Uh, so, food supplies aren't going to get great, so we'll have to come down here and take these rebels ideally. Um, yeah. I think on that note, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you all next time.